If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, Zivim here, welcome back to another Team of the Week predictions and we're going to start off as we mean to go on with a player that I have absolutely no idea how to say his name. Uh, Dutch right back, uh, got himself one goal and a Man of the Match award in a 4-0 win, of course no cup games count if there were any this week and I've thrown a couple of players in there as I think EA may decide to try and juice it up slightly, a couple of ones to watch is actually in contention, Suarez is our next player, been on the screen for a little while now with two goals and a 5-1 win, only a 77 rated card of course, we do build up from the back and there aren't that many sort of lower rated cards this week, another guy not going to try and pronounce his name, from Mets. He got himself two goals, one assist, and a man of the match. Well, I actually watched that game because he had an interest. Uh, the guy I own on the football index uh, plays on the other side and did absolutely sod all, so I appreciate that. Um, Pass Via, that's his name, if that's how you say it. He made a penalty saves and, and six other saves as well as a clean sheet in a nil-nil draw for Vitesse. Low-rated goalkeeper, though, and EA don't tend to uh, celebrate those very often, so who knows. Mama Balde up next with two goals in a 3-0 win. Um, not a, a fantastically good card here. You know, very, very pacey, reasonably good physicals, but apart from that, I'm not sure many would uh, be interested. Uh, ben Rama of Brentford up next with a hat-trick in a 5-1 win. Not that many hat-tricks this week. In fact, I don't think, apart from maybe one other, like a hat-trick of assists, I don't think anyone else actually got a hat-trick this week. A lot of red cards flying about, though, if they give awards for those. Uh, Bornau, maybe. Uh, Borno, Bornau. One goal for a centre-back and a, uh, I believe it was a clean sheet. It was. It, it uh, finished 4-0 there uh, for Cologne. I did look at C uh, Cordoba, but he's had one recently. Eduard for Celtic up next. And still in contention for a Future Stars card, actually. So I wouldn't be surprised to not see him there and him get a Future Stars SBC at some point. But he got himself uh, two goals and one assist and a 4-0 win. Not bad. Adrissi on the left side. Now, this is where the 81-rated clan start. There are a lot of 81-rated cards. Adrissi with two goals and a 4-0 win for AZ Altman. Again, EA don't like the Dutch League. So I wouldn't be surprised to not see... Any of the Dutch League cards knocked about here. Snodgrass with two goals and one assist in a 3-3 draw for West Ham. Would uh, give West Ham fans yet another 81 rated inform to sink their teeth into. Actually, if he was a centre mid, I'd be saying this isn't a bad card for an 81. But yeah. Makis, maybe? Uh, one goal and one assist in a 2-1 win. I believe that's for Granada. I'm not quite sure, but uh, either either way, for an 81 rated card, great pace, decent dribbling, and not too bad on the old finishing either. Let's move on to Gonal. One goal and a 2-1 win, or in a 2-1 win for Besiktas. Doesn't look like a great right back, I won't lie to you. Uh, not great on the old pace. Uh, the, the dribbling isn't too bad, but everything else is very much mediocre. As we move on to Nice, a game that I also watched, and for some reason I have Dolberg down as an Ajax player. That's not my fault, that's FIFA rosters for you. Um, two goals in a 2-1 win for Dolberg, of course, plays for Nice, not Ajax. I understand that. Um, yeah, watch that game. He played really well, actually. Novak up next for... Is that Traps on Spore? Uh, the left back uh, got one goal in a 2-1 win. A little bit better than the uh, the Gonal. A uh, little bit more pace, a bit more physical, a bit more sort of defence-minded, but still not really that usable. Uh, Saponara made that move. I had to transfer this one as well. Um, he obviously doesn't he doesn't play for Lecce in-game. He plays... Was it Genoa? He got two assists in a 4-0 win. And um, I've uh, moved him over to Lecce. So I don't think his card actually exists in game as Lecce. So there we go. First card for him. Arnold. This this is one that I can see happening. But also on the other hand I can definitely see not happening. Uh, he got himself one goal and one assist. Um, I mean it's, it's alright. But for an 82 maybe I would have bumped him a little bit more. I'm not sure. Saicedo. If that's how you say his name for Lazio. I don't actually believe this guy will get the inform. But definitely worth a shout. Two goals and a 5-1 win. They absolutely smashed Spal in the first half. I think it was 4-0. And Immobile went on a bit of a rampage. And uh, we'll talk about that later on. Uh, Ruben Penner up next with one goal and a man of the match award and a 3-1 win for Villarreal. 
Uh, again, uh, I sort of I didn't watch the game, but I did keep a close eye on it, and he played very very well from fullback, and uh, looks like a lot better than the other ones with his uh, higher dribbling and, and better pace. Nathan Ake would be one of those cards that uh, two months ago would actually have probably made a lot of people's teams. Unfortunately, now maybe a little bit behind. He got one goal in a 2-1 win for Bournemouth, which for a Premier League player could probably be enough, to be fair. And again, could, I mean, is he still under the age of 23? Surely eligible for a Future Stars, who knows? For Gooley, definitely not eligible for a Future Stars. Two goals and a Man of the Match award uh, while playing for Galatasaray. This looks like a an alright card, you know, very good dribbling in pace and just lacks pretty much everything else. But Wacker Kemp style on that uh, shooting and passing, and it could be usable. Let's move on to Mina, another in form for the Colombian centre-back. He got two goals, I think, in three minutes for Everton uh, to make it... Uh, well, they finished 3-2. I don't think he scored the... Um I don't think he scored the winning goal, did he? But either way, uh, again, not really usable because of that pace, but still a decent-looking defensive card. Caputo, I believe, would get a, um, a striker card. Of course, his first in form is a left wing. Two goals for him and a 4-2 win. Uh, it looks, I think that was over Roma as well, so it's a big result for them. But uh, it looks like a decent card, actually, for an 84. He shouldn't be too expensive. Uh, nice for experimentation. Back to the Premier League and yet another centre-back, Rudiger. This card looks much better than Mina. Not because he's better at defending, but because he actually has legs. Um, Rudiger with two goals in a 2-2 draw. So, a bit different. I think Mina deserves it because they won the game and it was dramatic and all the rest of it. But Rudiger deserves it because two goals as a centre-back is quite significant. I'll have to wait and see. Skov up next. This is a controversial position, really, because I don't know whether they'll make it. They'll probably make it a left mid. And if they do, then it becomes a much more usable card. But he did technically play left wing back. Uh, one goal for him and a 2-1 win. EA really need to sort this out in FIFA 21 because there needs to be a way to convert left wing backs to left mids. Just has to be. Sarabia, don't know if you remember, right at the beginning of the year, EA gave him ones to watch card. Ever since then, he's done literally nothing. Uh, one goal and one assist for him. I say that, I'm lying. There was one week where he got like two goals, one assist, and they gave it to someone else. So... Let's hope this time EA rectify that situation and give him the inform that he's deserved for quite a while. Sancho, one goal, one assist. Is that enough for the the prodigy? I don't know. Um, th there, I think there's another... Wait, is there another? No, there isn't another player from Dortmund on the list. So, yeah, uh, kind of has to be enough, really. Otherwise, they just have to give it to someone else as a token, like they did with Immobile a few weeks ago. That'll be interesting. Uh, let's move away from the top five and go over to Visca. Uh, two goals uh, in a 3-1 win, bumping him from an 86 to an 87. This guy always gets good cards. I think that's probably why he stays in the league, to be honest. He gets really good cards. He goes extremely high rated, and no one ever uses him, and he tends to cost around 20k. But still, a decent card. Roberto Firmino, and in fact, there are two players from Liverpool. Potentially, could have been three, but... Uh, Jordan Henderson, of course, is already in form this week. Firmino with a hat-trick of assists in a 4-0 win. T uh, two of them, in particular, were very good assists as well. Very creative. The first one um, stands out. But, yeah, looks like a decent card. Moving on to yet another one to watch. And, of course, Romelu Lukaku. Two goals and a Man of the Match award in Inter's 2-0 win. I'm not saying this card is usable because, again, it just doesn't have any dribbling. He's not the quickest of players, so I'm sure players, fans of Inter would want to use him, but anyone outside of that probably wouldn't be that interested. But still, I think he's done enough to get one, so holders, beware. Immobile, he's done enough. Two goals and one assist and a 5-1 win. I would argue that he is on the level with Lewandowski. Uh, in, in world football. I think both of those are the two best strikers in the world right now. They are absolutely relentless. I, I look and I see Lazio have scored and instantly I know it's Immobile. He made me so much money yesterday as well. So yeah, I, I big up Immobile. You deserve the inform. Two Premier League players to speak of now to end things off. Hugo Lloris, back from injury, made a penalty save, picked up five saves as well against Manchester City, kept the clean sheet and Tottenham literally handed Liverpool the title. Um, Let's be honest, they've won it anyway, in a 2-0 win. Uh, I think you kind of have to give it to, to uh, Lloris there. Th there is another player worth mentioning, though, I suppose, and just because of his new transfer, Bergwin. Uh, he got the opening goal. I think he went off injured, actually, but he got the opening goal. I wouldn't be surprised to see him in form, but I know that they will be looking for goalkeepers because there aren't that many high-rated ones who did anything significant. So Lloris, in my opinion will make it. And finally, worth a mention, but I think it'll probably go to Roberto Firmino. Mo Salah with two goals in that 4-0 win over Southampton. Um, again, you know, 
pretty actually a very good performance from Salah because he was quite unselfish, which is as a Liverpool fan, and I noticed this a lot. It, it it does sort of come across now and again that he's just trying too hard to score goals himself, and he you know he can lay it off and he doesn't sometimes. But he was very unselfish in that game and still got himself two goals. Uh, so yeah, I I wouldn't mind this, and of course he does have a headliner, but I do think it'll go to the um, hat trick of assists in Roberto. Firmino. But that brings us to the end of yet another Team of the Week predictions. There are a couple of decent cards in there, but nothing too crazy. So, in my opinion, they will probably throw in a few random high-rated cards just to get you to open packs that have done nothing in the real world of football. But we'll have a look at that on Wednesday. If you think I've left anybody out, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for you, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.